Hi, Lene with Bloom Feather Studio here. I thought it'd be really fun today to do an abstract butterfly. I've done quite a few of these and they're really fun. They turn out differently each time I do them. I like to add a lot of splatter and splash. And so today I thought it'd be fun to do a purple and yellow and blue one. You see this here. Here's an example of a different one that I've done with um, really bright pink and yellow and blue. Um, so today, uh, let's do the purple. So here are the colors I'll be using today. We've got lemon yellow here, okay, from uh, Windsor Newton. This is a lemon yellow. And then um, Daniel Smith Quidacridone purple love this purple I have hookers green and I don't have any more of that um, in the tube um, but uh, it's just a common green that probably most people have and if you mix the two together you see it becomes almost black so we'll be using some hookers green and quidacridone purple mixed together and uh, maybe a little bit of horizon blue and also a bright blue, cerulean blue uh, watercolor pencil. So if you don't have a watercolor pencil, um, that's okay. You can just use your paint and a rigger brush, it's like a really super thin brush um, to add some of those veins in. And I might do a little bit of blowing with a straw. So you can blow just with your mouth if you want, you can blow with a straw, or you don't need to add in the splashes. I'll show you the, I'll show you some of the blown parts that are like this right here. I blew a little bit of here, um, some down here at the bottom. And, but it's up to you, you don't have to add that. Um, also, we'll be adding a little bit of white gouache at the end. Whatever you have um, that's white, you can use bleed proof white, you can use um, gouache, you can use uh, just any white you have around. I have some of this, what is this one? Peach Martin's pen white. You can use any of that stuff um, just to kind of add a little bit of extra ethereal uh, texture to it. Okay? So I have um, also just a regular kind of not huge brush. This one's uh, my Windsor Newton number eight, but the brush isn't super important. It's just kind of, you need it to push the paint around and that's pretty much it. Um, so I've drawn out the butterfly. And so what you can do is you can just go online. You can draw, you can sketch a butterfly or you can go online and find a picture of a butterfly and just do like the half wing is what I like to do just, um, or the half of it, one set of wings, and I've sketched it out. I don't know if you can see it. So I've sketched it out, and I put a few veins in there. So the veins are going to be blue, so I just use my blue colored pencil um, to add the veins, and um, I sketched it out with um, my black colored pencil, but you can just use a regular pencil. It's fine. I just want to make sure you can see all of this from the top to the bottom. Yes, you can. So we're going to start out by wetting. Just going to get some water in my brush. And I'm just going to wet the butterfly. I'm going to wet it all around the edges here. So you can't really see this probably that it's um, just going to wet it. I'm just wetting the edges. I have a little bit of a scallop here, so I'm just taking care to make sure I wet the scallop part. Okay, so if you want, um, I'm gonna wet the middle part of it too, kind of, but not, you don't have to wet it too much. Okay, if you want some splashes, um, 
you can kind of add them in right now. So um, I'm going to add some splashes kind of right here. So I'm just going to flick out with my brush. in a couple places. I like to add some splashing right about here. Just kind of flick out with your, you can add a few splatters at the edge. So I'm just tapping on my, tapping on my brush. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so it's wet. Now I'm going to come in with my blue and my green. So this is this is kind of a mess a little bit. Look at this. So I'm going to so this is or sorry, my purple and my green. So I'm going to grab it. Um that looks a little too green. You want it more on the purple side kind of turns into a really nice gray. I'll show you it. It's on it's on here already, but I'll show it to you again. See how nice dark purple that is? I'm going to go around and I'm just going to add some color right here at the center of the butterfly. I'm going to put a little more purple in that. Yeah. Center of the butterfly. Um, kind of pull it out a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to carefully um, put some color right at the top tip of the butterfly here so you see that top tip and then here in the middle I really like these two wings to kind of match right here in the middle so one's not further out than the other so I you see how they both kind of end at, at the same spot and then down at the bottom here I'm going to add some color down here too and just kind of let that bleed. And then I'm gonna go around the edges of the butterfly with the same color, just really gently. And actually I'm gonna use, let's see, I'm gonna use the rigger brush, see how that works. Grab some color with it, just go around the edge carefully. Okay, so that line's a little bit strong. So I'm gonna rinse off my brush. Let's get a little more color. Rinse off my brush so it's nice and kind of pat it dry a little bit and go around and see if I can let this bleed a little bit. See that? So I'm just kind of softening that line because I want it to bleed. Okay. I'm just gonna add a little more color there. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna keep an eye on that. Okay, just added some more water. And actually before I go around the rest of it, I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and damp. Okay, and now I'm going to take my rigor brush back here. Follow along the line. Same here. Go around those scallops. Okay, this is a little, this looks a little bit dry, so I'm going to wet it. Go along here. And also along here. Okay, so now we've kind of outlined the butterfly. 
I'm going to go back in and just add some more color. Not too much paint on my brush. Just kind of let it bleed a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. So just play around with the edge a little bit. Make sure it's defined, really defined. I like to define it really well, but also make sure that it's blending and bleeding in a little bit so it's not a strong line. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna come in with some yellow, some lemon yellow, and I'm gonna add some to those um, Lashes I made. So I'm just going to go along the edge here and add a little bit of yellow. Where those splashes are. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to add a little more water, I think. Just kind of add some drips of water where I've put the splashes, um, grab a little more lemon, kind of tap my brush, yeah. Here, Let's add some more, okay, now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my straw and kind of blow a little bit. Turn it. I'm gonna go kind of straight on with this. So I'm gonna turn it this way. You can see this, yeah. That look good. I'm gonna add a little more splash. Now, this back. Okay. Now, I really like when my splashes are yellow and not so much a purple, so I'm going to take some of the purple out of some of this. Just kind of use kind of a dry, thirsty brush and pull some of the purple out, and the lemon will stay. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little bit more lemon to the splash. There we go. Okay, that looks better. Now, let's go in. So the middle got really dry, so I'm gonna add some more water here to the middle of the butterfly. I'm going to go in with my pencil and just kind of write, um, draw in some veins. So just kind of do it really softly, tap it in. You don't have to overthink this, just kind of it look really kind of ethereal and I mean like a big I make like two kind of big diamonds and then I connect them to the outsides of the like this to the outside usually where the scallop comes in like this is where I put a line something like that There. So I'm just going to leave that for now. And then I'm going to take my paintbrush, find some more, find some light blue, and I'm just going to tap it and splatter some light blue. Okay. 
We need some yellow in here too. So maybe I'll tap in some blue in different spots. Okay. And even if you want to put some blue in with these splatters out here, that's kind of fun. Yeah. Okay. These get a little too heavy. You can take some of the water out of it. Okay. Now I'm going to add some yellow splatters as well. Some yellow on my brush. Okay, if it doesn't splatter, get some water. Ooh, that's a big yellow splatter. I'm gonna grab some of that out. There we go. Okay. All right, now what we can do is we can do the front of this butterfly right here. Okay, so for the body of the butterfly, I like to keep it really, really loose. So let's look at this one. So, you know, don't, don't overthink it. Just kind of, um, this one's actually, I love this one, the way it turned out. So it's just kind of like a few kind of slashes for the, for the body. So let's see what we do. So I'm going to go right here at the base of the, or at the top of the bottom, uh, wing. And I'm just going to do some, just kind of like a, yeah, like that, like a, like a rounded shape and maybe make a little, just kind of don't overthink it. You can bring the color. Oh yeah. So I forgot to tell you, this is when I'm adding the purple. I got really dark purple and really dark green together and it kind of makes a black. It's really nice. Okay, just kind of add some shape in there. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to take my rigger brush and make the antenna coming up. Maybe some lines going down. There, that looks good. And I like to add a couple of like splatters, especially down at the bottom. Maybe a little bit up here too. Ooh, that one's really big, but we'll just leave it. That's fine. Okay, so now we, we're done with the body. And kind of to wrap this up, um, I'm, I'm not rinsing off my brush, but I'm going to get a little bit more of a purpley mix with this dark color. And I'm just going to add a little bit, a couple of dots at the top here at the ends, the corners kind of, and at the bottom just to Put a little bit of character in. Okay. And I'm going to take my rigger brush again with some dark. And I'm going to go around the edges one more time. Making sure that your edges are still very damp. Just kind of to define them a little bit more. If it if it's too solid of a line, too harsh, go back in and add some water, or just actually go back in with your damp, larger brush. Make sure it's cleaned off but damp, and just kind of brush it out a little bit. Okay, I'm going to pick up some of this color here. Actually, I'll just go like that. Tip it. It's a little too much water right here. Take a 
take some of that out. Yeah, there's too much water there. Take all that out. Okay. And then I'm gonna go back in and add a little bit more purple. Okay. Now. Okay. Okay, so now we've got our butterfly almost done. Now here is where, when it's almost dry, still a little bit wet, not too wet. I'm gonna grab some of the gouache. So open this up, make sure my brush is cleaned off. Okay, and then just take some right off the top of the tube like that and then I like to let me put the top on this this likes to come out so I have to keep keep the top on I like to use my palette and just kind of roll it around on the brush so it's not too gooey and thick get some water because we want to splatter it so we want to have it nice and watery okay that looks good And set this down, and then just go ahead and splatter. Oop. So, needs more water. Splatter some of that white. This just adds a really nice, like, ethereal quality to it. Splatter it around. Maybe tap it in a couple places. Let me get a little bit more. You can also add like a little bit of blue to it if you want. I'm not gonna do that, but I have in the past. There we go. That's a little bit better. I didn't mean to get it on the body. Okay. Okay. Um, just gonna fix that here. Let me just clean off my brush and add a little more color to the body. Okay, so this is pretty much done. So you can play with it a little bit more, add a, you know, a few more drops of color here and there if you want, a few more splashes. Um, the charm of this really comes out later on as it's drying. It kind of, even if you have like a few like crackles in the paint, it's really beautiful. Um, just keep an eye on it. You can play with it a little bit more. If you need to add a little more color here and there, make sure that it's what you know really damp when you add the color, so you don't get any harsh lines. Um, so let's just see how this dries, um, and then I will come back and show you the finished dry piece. Okay. Okay. So here it is, dry, pretty much dry. Um, I like to go around, I like to look at it once it's dry and take my colored pencil and go around and highlight around the parts that are really white. So for instance, this part here, um, right here, like just kind of go around with my colored pencil and accentuate that a little bit. 
like right there. Like don't, you don't have to highlight all the way around it. In fact, I might take some of this out if I can. Kind of got, went a little crazy right here. So yeah, like that. Um, yeah. So this is the final result. Here it is. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, let me see what you've come up with. Everybody, every butterfly is a little bit different, so it's kind of fun to see what you come up with. Um, so just, you can post it on Instagram if you want and tag me or, um, send it to me. Um, if you, if you don't want to post it, you can send it to me. Um, just message me, direct message me. All right. Um, have a great week, you guys. Have fun painting. Do a lot of splashing and splattering. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.